Well, as you can probably imagine, the group has been in a, a very buoyant place. I think it's been a very reasonable start. And I think the guys feel as though some of the work and uh, connections that have been worked out so intensely in pre-season are just starting to come out in the group. So very, very pleased where we're at. Still plenty of hard work and a very tough game this weekend to look towards. But um, a great mentality in the, in the camp at the moment. Thank you, Coach. We'll start with Drake Hills on the floor and then go to the zoo. Go ahead, Drake. Yeah, Gary, good to talk with you again. Um, start with the center backs uh, first and foremost. Obviously, the, the national team, the men's national team. The roster coming out. Walker's going to be staying here. How much of the current state of, of where Nashville is? Obviously, Nick going on the SEI list. Um, how much of, of that affected you know, the decision to for Walker to stay? And then, obviously, with Dave, I'm curious what you've seen in the first few games on how he's impacted the yeah. revolution. Well, first and foremost, uh, Walker's inclusion or exclusion is, is down to um, the national coach. And of course, we respect that. Both Walker and Shaq have been very valuable members of that team. So uh, th I don't think there are any issues there. There was, there was nothing this end that impacted their choice. We're, of course, delighted that both of those players are around the group this weekend. And of course, towards Cincinnati. Um, as far as Dave's form's concerned, I think we said at the time, you know, there were some factors that were, you know, integral into the reasons for trading Dave. And I think it worked out very well for both groups. Of course, the situation with Nick has been a little bit more concerning and has compounded some problems here with depth. But as far as Dave's concerned, he looks like he's fitted into that group well, and we'll obviously see him this weekend. All righty. Thank you, Coach. We will go to the zoo. We'll start with Ben Ryan. Go ahead, Ben. Yeah, uh, Gary, um, you just talked about Nick there briefly. Uh, I'm curious, with him out for the rest of the season, um, how do you feel about the center back depth that you have? Or are you happy with what you have, or do you think you, you might look to sign an, a replacement since he's out? or? What's your kind of overall feeling on the situation? Well, I, I think once you get a problem anywhere, the, the conversation starts to, um, you know, be directed towards, OK, what can we do? How can we help support that area? And of course, it opens up the door and the opportunity for others in behind that to maybe get their chance a little bit sooner than, than they would have done. The fact that Nick is on the injured list for a year is bitterly disappointing, and I'm not going to go into it too deeply. I know I, I made some comments in the last presser, um, but what I'll say on that is he had very little time in pre-season in this group and then was diagnosed with a serious Achilles problem that he's obviously had operation uh, an operation on. So I can't say any more than that, but... You know, it's it's bitterly disappointing because there were decisions made around Nick, around the trade, um, that have now impacted the group. However, we've had plenty of discussions, myself and Mike and the scouting group, about what we can do to support that area. I've had numerous players that have been offered up in terms of trying to um, to help out at this point in time. I don't feel as though those players are going to be the ones to, to take us forward. So we continue to, you know, to work with the group that we have. We continue to give opportunities to some of the guys in behind that. And we'll continue to look as well. And if the right person comes up, then we'll do our very utmost to try and bring that player into the group. Next, we've got a Jamie Rook. Go ahead, Jamie. Hi, Gary. Um, does the Rev's recent loss to LAFC give you a, a big boost of confidence going into this game? Not really. Um, I don't think it makes any difference, to be perfectly honest. In fact, I would say the complete opposite. They started off very, very well. I think they've had a little bit of a poke in the eye and a reality check in, in LA. Every one of that group, on-field, off-field, will be bitterly disappointed to go there and get beat. Um, and I would think that they'll be uh, in, in the very best mental and physical shape to try and get a result out of us at the weekend. So in many ways, it probably came at a bad time 
um, they'll want to bounce back from it and, and we'll be on the receiving end. And we've always had very, very tough games against New England full stop, whether it's uh, at Gillette um, or, you know, uh, um, Titans. Um, I can't remember if we've played them at Geo this year. I don't think so. But whenever we've played them, it's always been an incredibly tight and tough game. And, and I would hope and expect that it will be nothing different. Sam Minton, you're on with Coach Smith. Go ahead, Sam. Hello, Coach. I just want to ask, obviously, there will be the return of guys going up against Dave Romney. So just overall, you know, what will it be like to go up against Dave? And what, will it, what stands out about him as a player? Well, Dave, Dave was fabulous for us. Um, I, I think he missed two games. Uh, I may be over-exaggerating on that. In three years, he, he was absolutely outstanding in terms of his, his uh, consistency and, and the type of foundation that he helped us to form at this, at this soccer club. So I have the highest regard for Dave. Um, and, you know, it seems like, as I've said, he settled into the group well in New England. I, I, I mean, of course, there'll be some familiarity with the players on the field. He's been, been in and around them for three years. Um, I would think that Dave will want to try and get one over them and they'll be trying to do their very utmost to get one over him. So th that's what you get with uh, ex-teammates. Won't be any different this weekend. Tim Sullivan, go ahead. Hey, Gary, you mentioned the, the, the difficulty and the, the history that you have um, with New England, especially when you guys are up there. What are you... I'm most concerned about with what they present to you this year and, and what is it about um, whether it's you know that team or whether it's you know Bruce's coaching whatever it is that, that makes them such a, a difficult matchup not just for you guys but for everybody year after year well, look Bruce's record speaks for itself he's, he's been uh, the most successful coach domestically I think in history in MLS so I don't think we need to go any further there his teams are always very very tough to play against his recruitment is excellent um, you know, he, he puts together teams with great balance. And I think what you've got in that New England group are some players um, like Bo and Hill, who are tremendously talented and creative. Um, you've got loads of pace and energy out wide, especially the fullbacks, Bay and Jones have shown over the last few years what a threat they can be going forward as well as defensively. Um, and he's got a really nice footballing group there. You know, they're two home games so far, and we are early on in the season, but their two home games uh, have been victories. They'll feel as though it's a, it's a good opportunity for them, obviously, to pick up points. And when you go to New England, you know that that turf field's never going to be easy to play on, um, and they play it very well. So there's a challenge all round. We have been able to adapt in the past, there's no reason why we shouldn't adapt on this occasion. And I would think we're in for a very tight and challenging game as we have been in the past. We'll swing it back over here to Drake Hills and then go to Ben Wright. Go ahead, Drake. You know, as far as the handball working his way back, he's kind of been in, he's been out, he's working his way to, to 100%. Where is he on that path? Annabelle has, has made a very nice recovery from the shoulder injury. However, there are still some aspects of the injury that are concerning. Um, he's been able to do limited work with a group. Um, his inclusion or not in the weekend's events will be a very last minute one. Um, I would say he's probably 60-40 against at the moment as he tries to work his way back to what we would class as full fitness and sharpness. But it, it's, it's certainly not as, as uh, damaging an injury as we first thought, but there are still some things that are not quite right about that shoulder, and we want to try and protect him as much as we can. Thank you, Coach. We'll go to Ben Wright and then Tim Sullivan to wrap up Coach's availability. Go ahead, Ben. Yeah, Gary, um, we've obviously seen Dax wear the armband for the basically every time he started for Nashville. In the, in the past two games, Walker kept the armband. Um, I'm just curious about that decision, what, what all went into it, and is that like a, an official change or is that just how it played out the past two weeks? Yeah, no, it, it's, it's an official change. Um, I, I had a, a chat with Dax and Dax being the consummate professional that he is understood completely 
um, what, what I was wanting and, and where we were going. Uh, to be perfectly honest, and, and I've said this to the group, it's not anything that isn't um, out there in, in, the, in the sort of uh, team world that we have. We have a number of individuals here in a very experienced group who could have been wearing that armband. Annabelle's captain his country numerous times. Sean Davis has captained New York for many, many years. Um, we've had Dax. Walker's captain his country. Um, and I'm probably missing out guys as well. So whilst somebody has to wear it, and I believe Walker is a terrific um, uh, you know, individual to be representing us um, and taking us forward. There are lots of guys in this group that we still need acting as captains out on that field. And I, I, have, I have no issue with the way that verbally these guys want to give their opinions um, and, and how they go about their work. They've been very vocal this year about certain things on and off the field. And that's part of having a good leadership group. And I think we've got not only a good relationship, but I think it's getting stronger and stronger. But you're right, it's a permanent move and Walker will be captain. Go ahead, Tim, take us home. Hey, Gary, as you, as you look uh, specifically towards this weekend, after a, a more broad question, <laughs> but as you look specifically towards this weekend, what, what does it take to kind of um, change the narrative? I don't believe you guys have scored at New England. I know uh, your, your matches there have been draws. What does it take to, to change the narrative like that as you, as you, you know, head up there once, I, once again? Well, uh, you'll probably remind me, but I know uh, we've been on two occasions to New England. Derek Jones played as a centre forward in our first year when we had an absolute truckload of injuries um, and, and we earned an incredibly good point in a nil-nil. Um, we then played them on a long away stretch where we played Toronto on the weekend and we went to New England midweek and there was a lot of rotation in the group. I think I remember playing you know, what might have been, um, a, you know, a, a more of a squad group with a sprinkling of first choice players from the outset. And if I'm not mistaken, we came home at the weekend and, and had a good result. So that wasn't the worst decision in the world either. I can't remember going to New England being at full strength. Somebody might be able to tell me otherwise, but I think for one reason or another, there's always been some difficulties in that fixture. Now, that's not to say that the game will be any easier, of course, but I think for the first time we go there in a very good place, in a good mindset, and I, I would expect it will be a really good game. Um, you know, we have the ability and have shown to go and score goals and to, to, to make a difference. Um, the start of the season has been a decent one for us and we want to keep that going. So. I would think this one will be slightly different to maybe the others. But nevertheless, if we can come out of there with something, then it's been a good trip. Thank you, Coach. We'll be right back with Teal Bunbury.